just like humans in real life actually forces also have couples so we're gonna look at couples what does it mean when you say a couple enforces okay so what does it mean talk of a couple basically it means you have two forces equal magnitude opposite direction now that sounds familiar like newton's third law but it's not newton's third law it's something else because equal magnitude opposite direction but the line of action do not coincide meaning if we had newton's third law we would say something like this equal magnitude opposite direction but their line of action is the same means that is what we call the line of action okay these are what we call n3 newton third law pairs but in this case we're talking about torques so we don't want their line of action to be the same so for example if you have this sphere and one force is upwards with some value f the other one is downward on the other side some value f this is what we call a couple okay so i read it out torque of a couple can be calculated from these two so couple basically means this fella and this fella is a couple why because equal magnitude check opposite direction one goes up one goes down and most importantly their their lines of action don't coincide because the one that's going up the line of action is just like that all along that line and the one going down has a line of action here and they don't coincide but they will make this round object rotate okay because if you want to calculate it here's the perpendicular force perpendicular force and they will rotate about this pivot point make that little round thing rotate just like how you want to you want to spin something okay you just rotate and that's it or if you want to drive let's say this is a driving wheel okay you want to drive and you want to turn really hard you do something like this and you pull equal magnitude but opposite direction you're going to rotate a thing okay that's just what it means it's a it's a couple if you satisfy this condition so you can also see it uh, in rods same thing if you have rods that are turning you have two forces down and up both same magnitude opposite direction you will make this object rotate okay could be i don't know pivot point somewhere here things like that okay so again the couple is the one pulling it down pulling it up those are what we call a couple that fella and that fella okay that's a very convenient way to find it so let's say this rod has a length d if you want to calculate the torque of a couple let's say on the right side the torque will be check clockwise or anti-clockwise anti-clockwise just draw a circle like that the torque in this case will just be force times the distance between these couple so fd okay now you're wondering wait a second but the pivots in the middle why do you use d ah because we'll see one in a bit because these two couples they work together so in the next slide we'll see why we can just shortcut and say oh if they're a couple f times distance in between them okay in this case d is distance between these two okay let's look at uh why that is true so the thing i mentioned earlier is total moment is always the same no matter where your pivot point is what does that mean okay let's say we have that rod just now and i said one was down one was up same uh, force and we have d as the whole length so d is the whole thing which means one side is d over two the other side is d over two if you want to calculate the torque like how we usually do you know each and every force is taken into account we can do that so if you look at anti-clockwise torque that will be force times d over two plus another one the couple the other couple times d over two both are also pushing it anti-clockwise so then if you add together you will get f times d so it's a shortcut all you need to do is one of the forces times the distance between these two couples now you can only use this for couples okay only for couples what if the pivot point is somewhere else let's say i don't know somewhere here off center a bit if we look at f down and f up let's say the whole length is 
still d, the whole rod length is d, but now let's call this short part x, okay, from here to here, and then the other long part, we call it d minus x. There we go. All right, so x, d minus x, d is the whole length. If you want to calculate traditionally using our good old method, we can do that. Clockwise, uh, Anti-clockwise torque is the first force times distance to pivot is x. Okay. Plus the second force, f times distance to pivot is, in this case, what do we have here? d minus x. So we just write it, lah. d minus x. Then let's add them all together. Let's open the bracket a bit. So fx plus fd minus fx equals to, hey, fx cancel out. So it's just ft back to the same old thing. So torque of a couple, this is what we call it. Okay, torque of a couple only applies for a couple. So do you see the thing there? No matter where you put your pivot, if it's a couple, you can just shortcut and say F, one of the F, time the distance between the couple. This is great, especially for very complicated problems when it's just too much to calculate and if they tell you it's a couple, then woo, saves time. You can straight away calculate it.